a double century in one day internationals. You have no idea how historic that is, guys. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the New Zealand Road to Cricket Glory career mode, guys, in Career Captain 2020, episode number 12, guys, where today we're going to be taking on West Indies in the final one day international of three. We've already won the series 2 0, so we actually don't need to worry at all about team selections anymore. It's purely experimental because we have already won the series. Doesn't matter if we win the series 3 0, 2 1 whatever it does not matter anymore so we're actually going to try and bring some changes in we're going to try matt henry bring him in instead of maybe Lockie ferguson just give uh, him a crack i don't think we need to experiment too much guys we've already got a pretty experimental lineup to say the least i bet guppy must be fuming being on the sidelines right now watching phillips and rutherford kill it because he's absolutely informed but he can't do anything about it right now which is unfortunate other than that i think we're going to go again unless we want to play latham maybe instead of ross taylor at number four purely to give latham a game more so than anything else and stuff it yeah why not because ross taylor we don't even know if he's going to turn up to the next world cup to be fair so stuff it in fact chapman can go to four latham can go to five and give us just a bit of experimentation in that regard which we normally might not do either way bolt and jameson to go again here it's pretty full-on our team is doing really really well guys some of the best cricket we've, we've ever played in this game to be honest oh look it's my birthday it's on my birthday this game's on my birthday it's kind of nice look at that new zealand to cool heads and we win the toss what are we going to do what well, we've done all series bat first that is for sure we've done exceptionally well batting first and we're just going to continue that tradition today all right, let's go. Straight again. Back in we go. Four more to start things off. Free hit, apparently. Oh, well, didn't see that one coming, uh, did Phillips, but it goes for four nonetheless. Good stuff. 16 without loss. And Rutherford, his first failure in the series, he's gone for eight. He's played exceptional in the series so far, to be fair to him. So, uh, one bad game is, uh, is, is understandable, you know, understandable. Sucks, but it is what it is. Four to Williamson off the free hit, and he gets a single. He is in the action early, which usually in real life he's used to. In this game, in the last two games, probably not so much. Anyway, Phillips actually has a bit of responsibility to carry in this game himself now. Seeing Rutherford depart for the first time in the series before he departs. 38 for one in the first 10, a bit quiet, but uh, nothing we're going to be worried about whatsoever. That's four. It's a big loss, that Rutherford wicket, though, because uh, he is in good touch, and that's for sure. All right. Phillips, 49 off... 40, sorry, 49 for one. And that is trickling away. Just about gets there. Nice. Four runs. 54 for one. Nurse to Phillips. That is four. A good shot from Phillips. Williamson down the ground, four. That's Phillips' highest score in the series as well, so he'll be... Thrilled with that for sure. 66 for one. Nurse to Phillips. That is over the top. And that's four. Good shot. From Glenn Phillips. Full toss now. And splices. Oh, not splices. He actually just smashes the gap. That's four more. Paul is almost bowled out already. He's bowled pretty decently in this game. But that will be four. And that's Phillips. I think is 50. Possibly. If it's not already. Well, now it will be anyway. He brings out 50. His first in the series, fantastic stuff. That's a no ball there as well. It's going to go for four, and the free hit brings a run. So that's really good stuff there. We're already going back at five and over. And Phillips brings up his first half century of the series. That is his third one-day international half century. So there you go. Good stuff. Can he make it count? He hasn't got 100 yet. I will say that. No pressure. That's four. What's his high score, actually? 84. Okay. Keep that in mind. Williamson, 26. Doing okay. Again, we just don't seem to be losing wickets like we kind of might expect to, you know? 105 for one. And Phillips just hits a flat six. 75 he's on now. 113 for one. That's a six as well. What a shot. I guess we're just not losing wickets like we should in a World Cup game. I'm used to playing World Cup games where it's like 250 
defendable sort of thing. Oh! Williams has gone for 37, though. He gets a good start today, but he is gone. Chapman. And now he's gone! For a three-ball duck. Well, jeepers. That turned nightmarish pretty quick. Not gonna lie. Phillips now has to realise, oh crap, I've got to actually play slower because I'm the only one in with Latham. Oh, I'll tell you what, that's a four. What a shot. 135 for three. And over the top. Just about for four. Again, back-to-back -back fours. And make that three. He moves to 90. He has quickly broken his highest score there of 84. Moves into the 90s for the first time in his one-day international career. And it's outside the line, unfortunately, mate. We are definitely uh, a little bit slower today, that's for sure. Phillips, that's a four. Okay, it's a four. 94, I think he's on now. Tosses up. Hits a four. 98. 150 comes up. Down the ground. This could be it. And it is. He brings up the maiden one day international 100, Glenn Phillips. Gets an edge, 103 from 96. What an innings it has been. And there you go. He finally gets his first 100 in his seventh game. A little bit of a wait, not too bad. I'm sure there's definitely been some longer waits out there for sure. But well played to Glenn Phillips there. Finally converts one. And now he can just play with a little bit of freedom with that six. Down the ground, that's four as well. Fantastic stuff. Mind you, he's got 100. The team's only on 173, and he's on 120. Off 100. Gee, he's flying. He's got 20 overs yet. Got 20 overs. Oh, another six. That's huge. Jeepers, jeepers, jeepers. Latham's four of 19. There you go. He's got a four away. Well done. Down the ground now. We Chase to Phillips, 187 for three. Oh, gee. You're kidding me. <laughs> what a shot. 134 he's on. That's four to Latham. Just trying to look at who our finishers are and when we want them to come in if Latham gets out. That's all. 200 comes up. That's a shot. Six even. 142 for Phillips. Leg side. Four. 147. 216-3. Latham in the gap. That's four. Phillips on 147. Oh, he gets the full toss. He smashes it for six and brings up the 150 of just 127. New all-time partnership on this ground for the fourth wicket. Fantastic stuff. Phillips now has... <sighs> oh, gee, I'm, I'm nervous for him, guys. I'm nervous for him big time here. Nothing to be nervous about. He's on 153. 159 now. That's outside leg. That's four again. 163. Highest innings at this ground. He's got 12 overs. Oh, that's a good over, though. He got a bit nervous, possibly. Bit the nerves hit him a bit. Just needs to not think about it. You've already made 166. You can make as many more as you can please. 250. Up. For the loss of three. That's another good shot from Latham now. Into the act. Tell you what, we're in the last 10 here. Do we want... We're going to hold back on Phillips just a little bit. That's four. 177, I think he's on now. That's four. To Latham. Chase to Phillips. That is a six. He moves into the 180s. 271 for three. In the air. In the gap. It's six. Think he's in the 190s. It's four. He's on 195. Guys, I'm sweating so hard. 283 for three. Latham gets four. I'm sorry, Latham. I've given you no attention. I'm sorry. What a shot. He's playing well. He's playing really well, actually. Holy heck. Good stuff, Latham. Almost 300 brought up now. How long has he got? 
Oh no, I haven't checked how long he's got. I haven't been looking at the others. He's my done it! He's done it! He's done it! He's bought it up! Doesn't even matter. He's bought it up, guys. What a flipping innings. Glenn Phillips, the second New Zealander to bring up a, 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 a double century in one day internationals. You have no idea how historic that is, guys. If you don't know, search it up, guys, and I'll tell you now. No, no one does that. No one does that. Nobody does that crap. But Glenn Phillips has done that crap. Holy flat. What an innings. What an innings. 300 comes up for New Zealand. With the loss of three wickets, Latham could be gone. No. That is his 50, actually, I think. Well done. And he's finally gone. He's one too many. One swing too many. But an innings to remember. Two... 103 for Glenn Phillips off 156. 12 sixes, 21 fours. Guys, what a first innings. I don't even think he'll break that across his whole career. That's kind of depressing. Anyway, what a knock. What a knock. 201. No, 203, sorry. In his flipping first ever century, he gets a double. Unreal. You never know. You might get two, like Rohit Sharma, but... Latham gone 55 or 57. I'll tell you what, an underrated knock. Really underrated there. We could have easily, easily lost the plot in the middle there. But Latham was there to see it out. So well played, Latham. Really well played. We're actually uh, losing the, some wickets in the back end here. Don't know if we should really care that much. But we just don't have that much batting behind these two. That's all that I'm worried about. Okay, stuff it. We're just going to go for it. What an innings from Phillips anyway. To consider the fact that the team's on 311 and he got 203 of them. That's fantastic stuff. You just, you don't see that happen often at all. And that makes up for Guttel getting 199, guys, earlier in this series, guys. That was such a heartbreaker. This time, this time, redemption at last. I'm so glad. I'm so, so happy for him. 321 for five. Still got a game to win, to be honest, but uh, we find the series. It feels good knowing that Glenn Phillips got 203, guys. I'm just in shock. Anyway, Satna. Come on, Satna. Oh, he gets a full toss. Puts it for four. Nice. Okay, last over. 330 on the board already. Just literally hit it, guys. You're just doing fantastic work. That's four. That could be a run out. Uh, no. Highest total at the ground again. Wow. We're just smashing all these records this series, guys. I don't know what is going on. Anyway, 335 is what we get for five in the 50 overs. The West Indies bowlers must just be absolutely... They must not be able to sleep at night. Like, ah, it's just... I'm so sorry. I feel kind of bad for them, actually. As much as... As, as bad as you can feel for the opposition, let's say that. Because, uh, you know, you want to win, so... You know, whatever, but... Yeah. Anyway, bolt to hope. And that's our maiden to start things off. That's runs. Oh, just barely over the fielder for four. Bolt and Jameson to open up again here today. It's two, the, in fact, the two best bowlers in the world right now in one day internationals. And edge and gone. Another early wicket. That's just what it, we bring early wickets to the table. That's what these two bring. Jameson gets two in the over. He gets Lewis for 10 off 15. And now LBW chase for naught off two. Bolt still to bowl. Hasn't got a wicket in this game. At least not an early one. Now he's got an early one. Pollard for four ball duck. Huge. In fact, we're just going to bowl through with him. To be honest with you. Oh, it's well bowled. How many maidens does he bowl? Two. I thought, gonna, I, thought gonna, I thought I saw a four one. I was like, that can't be right. He bowled four overs. Anyway, we're just going to keep him bowling. Has he hit, hit that? No. Full toss. Oh, dear. Gale's going to punish that. Ooh, Gale is slow. Ah, uh, sorry. Slow enough. He's quick enough. My bad. And that's four more. Jameson. We got... We, we, I was going to bowl them out. But, you know, we, we're going to give some other bowlers a go. We're going to give Henry a go. We're going to go to Sodi. We're going to give Shy Hope a bit of uh, respect. Because he's bowling... Oh, batted pretty well. 47 for three. Down the ground. That's four. Wow. 50 comes up for West Indies. Down the ground. Against Henry. Henry's got a bit of a different role in the middle order. In the middle order as in like the middle of the innings. 
I can't really mid Lorda, but middle of the innings uh, bowling, which is a different role than up top. Ooh, the edge from Gale. Gone! What a Yorker! Unbelievable ball! Look at that! Gale, no chance. What a flapping ball that was from Matt Henry. Tell you what. That was top draw, that stuff. That's a shot. That's four. Sodi, well bowled. 81 for four here. Down the ground from Hitmeyer. That's a good shot. Gone, though. He's completely misread it. I don't know what happened there. I think he's somehow beaten for pace. I'm not entirely sure how, but he is. Matt Henry grabs two key wickets. 88 for five. That is a six, though. In fact, that's a... That was a no ball as well. Henry is just continuing to bowl here at the moment. That is a misfield. Oh, Henry will not like that. 100 limb for five here, West Indies. It's just everything's going wrong for West Indies, really. Their batting's just a bit up and down. They're like bad, they're, they're bad at okay, but they haven't bowled. I mean, the fact that they've bowled pretty average has just put their whole season or, se or series sorry, on a stamp. Because no matter what... We've, we've batted first and got over 300 every time, and they're just like, ugh. We can't, it's so hard to chase that. So hard, anyway. Especially with, again, our bowler's form. We're doing exceptionally well. That's four. Ooh, that's a good shot. Anderson. Can he get something? It's a top edge, but it's gone for six. Unreal. Shot on 93. What? Tell you what, that's an innings. Oh, but he's gone. No, he can't even get 100. He's gone. He's completely slogged across the line. So he gets his first. I kind of feel bad for him because that was a knock and a half considering his team's on 145 and he got 93 of them. Oh, no. No, you don't do that. Oh, gee, he does. Cause, gee, that was close, though. Uh, Mitch Satin has not even bowled a ball in this game yet. Oh, nearly. Nearly caught. Catch that. Oh. That, oh, again, another. Just, just wide. Bit of luck for the West Indies at the moment. That's, an, again, just hitting that gap. Satna fallen a bit out of form. So he'll feel like he needs just a bit of form to get himself back in, you know. An edge, that'll be one. 167 for six. King down the ground. Four. He still played pretty, pretty well. Anderson's not bowled brilliantly either. Uh, Matt Henry can bowl out. Oh, did you just stop it? What a what a flipping ball. Bowled beautifully today. Really has. And that's the end of his ninth. Really bowled. Terrific in the middle. Just bowled those Yorkers that you just don't see him bowl in real life. It's just fantastic. Oh, another one. Oh, no way. <laughs> you can't do that, Matt Henry. This is unreal. Look at this again. Just, they're all over. He could get a five for here. Oh, he's the slip. Yeah, he should have got five. He should have put a slip in. My bad. My bad, Matt Henry. What a bowling display for Matt Henry. Four for 45 or something like that. Wow. Gone. Santa gets one. Beautiful. It's nine down. Can he get Chemo Paul? No. <laughs> Chemo Paul can bat. Uh, Jameson. Give him some experience. And he gets a wicket. Boom. New Zealand, 153 runs is the victory margin i would be more celeb celebratory guys but gee i tell you what we've just dominated so heavily in this series that uh, my expectations are just completely different i just don't understand i don't i can't expect this every series guys that's unreal the player of the match is obviously glenn phillips for his 203 of 156 unreal stuff no dropped catches guys he didn't even get dropped once Unreal stuff. He played so well. Matt Henry, 4 for 48. Really bowled well as well. And I got the achievement, guys. Double century. That's the first time I've scored a double century in this game. I think ever. Yeah, just hit a, hit a double century. That's all. So that's fantastic stuff there, guys. I tell you what. Unreal. Look at that wagon wheel, guys. Just unreal. Anyways, guys. We are actually on to the tier 20s now against West Indies. In West Indies, of course. We win the series 3-0. We whitewashed them. I think that's the first time I've whitewashed anyone, to be honest. But uh, probably not. But yeah, anyway. That was a fantastic display. Considering 
just everything. I don't know. I'm I'm just in shock, guys. That was awesome. Three 0 is what we win by away from home. So we actually go to fifth on the table, uh, beating Pakistan and West Indies. We're slipping out to eighth. Let's take a look at the rankings, guys. Glenn Phillips is now the second best one-day international batter in the world, guys, alongside Kane Williamson, who's the best, Rutherford, who's the fifth best, and Chapman, who's the 11th best. What about the bowling? Those two again. Yeah, Jameson and Bolt up the top. Absolute class. Ferguson and uh, Anderson there as well. Still got some work to do with the other guys, but we're still doing very good guys at the moment. That is going to be it for this, the series, guys, and that is going to be it for today's episode. So if you did enjoy then please make sure you leave a like. Subscribe for more content such as this, guys. Comment down below your thoughts on the series as well, guys. Who I should drop, who I should keep, etc., etc., guys. Please let me know how you're thinking, what you're thinking about this series, guys. And I will definitely read all your comments, guys. Please, thank you. Don't forget to follow me on my socials down below, guys. Especially on Twitter. I tweet out a lot, guys. So please don't forget to do that. As well as joining my Discord server, guys. Please join my Discord server to receive exclusive updates for when our videos go live, guys. Otherwise, I will see you all in the next episode of the series, guys. Goodbye for now.